Hello, this is Dr. Hippocrates Saris from Maternity Training International, and I'll be presenting to you a simulation training video on shoulder dystocia. Shoulder dystocia occurs when the head of the baby delivers, but the shoulders do not. There are a number of risk factors that would make one to anticipate shoulder dystocia. Some of these occur before labor and some during. The reason why it is important to be able to deal with this emergency is because almost half of these babies will die within five minutes if they're not delivered. Come on now, push! Yep, yeah, chin to chest, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Shoulder dystocia should be anticipated if there's difficulty with delivery of the face and chin of the baby, if the head remains tightly on the vulva or even retracts, if the head does not restitute or if the shoulders do not descend. Call for help, as a number of people will be of use. Just having a little trouble um, delivering the baby's shoulders. I'm just going to go call for help, OK? Place the mother flat on her back and bring her legs to her chest. This manoeuvre will deliver approximately 90% of babies. If this fails, you can simultaneously ask an assistant to press on the back of the front shoulder through the abdomen. This aims to help dislodge the shoulder from under the pelvic bone. Ask them to push either continuously or in a rocking motion. However, do not ask for fundal pressure, as this can lead to damage to either the mother or the baby without helping delivery. If the above manoeuvres fail, then you may need to insert your hands in the vagina and try to dislodge the shoulder internally. At this point you may want an episiotomy, but this will free space to enter. There are a number of rotational maneuvers. The first one demonstrated here is the application of pressure with the index and middle finger of one hand on the back of the front shoulder. The aim is to dislodge the shoulder from under the pelvic bone. If there's any movement, then try to deliver the baby. If unsuccessful, then you can also press at the same time with the index and middle finger of your other hand at the front of the posterior shoulder. Once more, the aim is to dislodge the shoulder from under the pelvic bone. If there's any movement, then try to deliver the baby. If the above fail, then you can reverse your hands and try rotating the shoulders in the opposite direction. If none of the rotational maneuvers work, then try to deliver the posterior arm. This is done by inserting the hand in the vagina posteriorly, locating the baby's arm, and then flexing the baby's elbow and sweeping the forearm over the baby's chest. Once the posterior arm is delivered, then there is more space created for the anterior shoulder to drop down and deliver. If you still cannot deliver the baby, then consider rolling the mother on all fours. This increases the pelvic space. Pull gently downwards with the aim to deliver the posterior shoulder first. You can also repeat all of the internal maneuvers in this position. In extreme circumstances, you can carefully consider, if appropriate, possible extreme maneuvers. After the event, document what you did and when, obtain pericord gases if available, and please, as always, debrief the mother. Thank you very much for watching our video, I hope you found it useful. Please also have a look at our other videos on our website.